Hey, what's going on guys? It's Through Dolphin here back again with another video. And if you all have not seen by the title already, I'm going to be giving all of you 10 imposter tips that you can use when you are the imposter. These tips are really useful and they get me lots of wins because I use these tips all the time when I'm the imposter and most of the time I win the game because of them. So make sure you stick to the end of the video to get all the tips. And guys, the last one is the most important of them all. So make sure you stick around to see that one. Also guys, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell notification on. And that way you're notified every time I upload. And yeah guys, without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. Alrighty guys, the very first tip that I have for you all if you're the imposter is get as many stack kills as you can without getting caught. Alright, I know most of you might know what a stack kill is, but I'm going to explain it just in case anyone doesn't know. So let's say that the lights are out at electrical and everyone has to go into electrical to fix them. Or basically that's just where everyone goes when it happens. So basically when a bunch of people are stacked on the electrical trying to fix it, what you want to do is get in that stack. And once you are in there, just kill someone. But what I would recommend is only killing someone if there's at least three people or more while you are there. I recommend this because if there's only two other people there, then it's a higher chance of you getting caught and someone knowing that you did it. And you could get voted out for this if your kill time is set at a high time like 30 seconds until you can kill another crewmate. Alrighty guys, so when you do the stack kill, it is very easy to get a double kill. So the first kill is going to be the easy kill you get in the stack. So once you get that kill in the stack, what you want to do is either wait for someone else to report it or you can be the one to report it. And if you're the one to report it, then it does seem a little less suspicious that you are the imposter. And guys, the second kill is by voting someone out. Because if you're the person who reported the body, then more people are likely to believe that it wasn't you. And that means that it's easier to get someone killed just by voting them out. But you do have to be careful of this, because if you vote a wrong person out, that could lead to you being more suspicious and you getting kicked out next round. So I would be very careful when I'm trying to do this. Alrighty guys, so the second tip that I have for you all is going to be a tip on how you can get a very quick and easy kill and get away with it super easily. So basically what you want to do is you want to be able to corner someone or two people if you have the other imposter with you. Once you're in the same room as them, make sure you locate a vent. Once you find where the vent is, make sure you go out back into a hall or a main area where a bunch of players run through. Make sure that there are no players running through there. And then once you do that, make sure to kill the player and then run as quick as you can to the vent. And once you are in the vent, you can do one of two things. You can either just stay down under and wait for the body to be reported, or you could switch over to another vent and pop up and act like nothing happened. Another possible thing that you could do is you could report the body. This might be a little bit riskier than the other two that I recommended though. Because it's kind of sus when you find a body and no one else is around you. Because then it seems like you just self-reported the body. So overall that just makes you look really sus. So guys, personally I would either stick to staying in the vent or popping up out of the vent and then killing another person. But yeah, make sure not to self-report the body because that will most likely get you voted out. So if you're trying to win the game, don't do that. Alrighty, now the third tip that I have for you all. To get a quick and easy double kill with your imposter friend is basically make sure you're inside a small room but it has access to vents. So once you and the other imposter are in the same area, once again like I said in the last tip, make sure the thoroughfare is not running with crewmates, make sure it is all clear. And then once you go back in, tell your imposter to kill the other while you kill the other crewmate. And also guys, in this, communication is very important. Because if you do not time it right, one person can die and then the other could report it. So make sure you all are communicating, or at least trying to. That way you or your friend don't end up being voted out. Alrighty guys, the fourth tip we have for you all is... Do not vent close to a body if you or your imposter friend just killed one of the crewmates. 
and that's because if you do that you could possibly run into the body again and then a crewmate runs up on it and he sees you as sus because of that and overall that just would not look good for you at all and you probably wouldn't be able to get yourself out of that situation so when you kill someone and then you vent or you just kill someone in general make sure you're as far away as possible and make sure your vent is not near the body because again guys that'll just look really sus for you alrighty guys the fifth tip i have for you all is going to be always check your kill cooldown time because you don't want to get you or your imposter friend in trouble because if you're trying to do a double kill with your imposter friend and you can't even kill and you don't realize that then that means the other crewmate is going to be able to report the body and then either the both of you or one of you will get ejected so guys always be sure to keep on checking your kill time it's honestly something super simple that a lot of us forget to do so i would say about every 10 seconds make sure to just move your eyes down a little bit and check how much time you have left until you can kill another person and guys that also helps with you being able to plan around the time until you can kill another person so yeah guys just don't forget to look at it because it is very important and it could cost you your life Alrighty, guys so the sixth tip i have for you all is do not use cams admin door log or vents after you kill someone when you are the imposter and the reason why you all should not do this is because if you are on or viewing any of those things then this will affect your cooldown time until you can kill again and if you all did not know if you're actually in or doing any of those things your cooldown time until you can kill someone again will not move at all and it will just stay at the number that it's at so if it's at a high number then it will stay there until you get out of one of those things now something that you can do is fake that you're looking at the cameras you can also fake that you're on admin and you can also fake that you're on the door logs checking them there's no real way for someone to tell if you're actually looking at those things or not and it's really good because you can convince people that you are when you're actually not and you're letting your kill cooldown time lower so yeah definitely use this tip because it helps people think that you're less sus and you get to kill again a lot easier and quicker alrighty guys so the seventh tip i'm going to give you all is basically how you are supposed to fake a task now a lot of people when they are the imposter get voted out because other people see that they are not doing their tasks and also if you do this incorrectly then your movement can be weird and you can look as if you are confused and don't know where to go and that's a dead and obvious giveaway that you're the imposter because as you all know the imposter has no tasks so you don't want to look like you don't know what you're doing or where you're going but instead if someone is following you go somewhere where you know there will be a task but make sure it is not a task that will prove your innocence for example you can scan at med bay and that will let everyone know you're innocent basically do any other tasks than those ones because like i said you can't do those tasks and you will be found guilty and you will be kicked off so do any of the tasks that do not prove your innocence and that's if someone is following you stay there until the person stops being suspicious or just leaves and then after that if they go into another room and they are alone then is your opportunity to kill them and get away with it and then you could vent or self-report but it's a lot smarter to just vent alrighty guys so the ninth tip that i have for you all is to take advantage of the emergency button and what i mean by this is a really quick and easy way to get a kill and get away with it is by killing someone that's near the emergency button and then pressing the button or just killing someone and then pressing it it doesn't matter where the player is but that way you don't look sus because you did not self-report the body and you called a meeting instead honestly this way very few imposters get voted out by doing this and that's just because it's too early on in the game to point fingers at people and a large majority of the time no one will be ejected because everyone's still confused and no one has any idea who it is so if you want a quick and easy kill make sure to do this and you will most likely get away with it alrighty guys so the 10th 
final and most important tip that will give you an edge over everyone else is right when the game starts up and when the screen comes up to tell you to be quiet if you left click while you're on the screen that will allow you to skip this and you can just start the game this will get you into the game quicker than anyone else this is really cool because if you wanted to you could hit the vent which is at weapons pop up at navigation and then go down to storage or somewhere else and absolutely no one will expect you to be there because it's so early on in the game and this means you might be able to get a couple of quick and easy kills this is probably the most overpowered tip that the few amount of people know about so i would suggest using this to your advantage as much as possible and yeah guys that was the very last tip if you found it helpful at all make sure to hit the subscribe button with the bell notification on and also make sure to like and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.